What up guys, TJT back, and today I got another interesting video for you guys. I'm going to go over the top cards I think everyone should invest in for this season. I'm not necessarily going to go over individual cards, but for players at least to invest in, what players I think will do good this entire year and the rest of their careers basically. I'm going to use the future watch auto prices to kind of gauge the prices for all these cards. First off, some players are just shooting up crazy amounts in price, and some players are still extremely undervalued compared to the rest of these other players on the list. However, I think all these players have an upward projections in terms of their career, so let me guys know what players I missed on this list and what players are should be higher or lower. Obviously, I know I missed a few, and I created this list just a, probably a few weeks ago, so it isn't really the best in terms of now, but I have a bunch of honorable mentions I kind of want to go over too. I'm going to go over a few underrated players and prospects and get into a top 10 I created. And I don't even think the top 10 is that great right now. I don't think my list of the top 10 is that great, but I think the players in it are all going to have upward careers. So I think they are all players to watch out for in terms of the future. Originally on this list, I had Kirby Doc, but I'm not really too sure where his card's going to be heading, uh, especially with how much hype is built around him. So, yeah, his card's kind of interesting right now. And then a few other cards I would say to invest in would be Charlie McAvoy, Sam Steele, Dominique Kubelik, Thomas Chabot, uh, Julian Gauthier, Alexandre Texier, Nick Suzuki, Jesperi Kotiemi, Oliver Wallstrom, Victor Mete, and Brandon Lemieux. Obviously, there's a ton of other players with a ton of potential, so let me know what other ones I missed in that list. So starting off at number 10, I, ha I have Adam Fox. Right now, his Future Watch Auto is around $60, I believe. He's definitely a stud for the Rangers. If Adam Fox keeps up his play, his cards could be worth a ton. Especially right now playing in the Big Apple if he keeps up his play style and the Rangers win a few games that that card could take off. At ninth, I got Noah Juleson. Uh, I think he's a solid defenseman for the Panthers right now. And his future watch auto goes around goes for around $15. He's been okay for Montreal and I think he has a huge potential ahead of him. Next at eighth. We have a pretty solid but very underrated defenseman in Jacob Chichurin. Uh His card's around $20 right now, his Future Watch Auto. And I think uh, his ceiling is still pretty high, and no one kind of realizes how good of a defenseman he is, uh, considering he's been playing for the Coyotes his entire career. So uh, definitely see a bright side in his future. Vince Dunn is going to be coming in at 7th. He's a very solid defenseman. For the Blues, his Future Watch Auto is around $22, and because of his solid play and help in winning the Blues the Stanley Cup, I think his card will definitely go up for sure. Uh, I think he's got some pretty good potential there in the backside of the Blues defense. We've got another player coming in from New York, but this time it's going to be for the Islanders. As an Islanders fan, this may be a little biased, but after watching way too many Islanders games, I think Ryan Pollock maybe one of the most underrated defensemen in the league. His awareness is amazing along with his play style, and he may have one of the hardest slap shots in the entire league. If you watch this kid play, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So his future watch auto only goes for around $25, and with him being that underrated, skilled, and his cards that low, what a great investment in a player this will be. People will soon realize how much of a talent he is. Next up might be the best player in the league besides McDavid and McKinnon. And fifth, we have Kale McCarr, who I would consider the best defenseman in the league. If not, he will be after this season. Uh, I predicted him to win the Norris, I'm pretty sure, in my predictions. And he's in first place in voting right now. Like, a, I don't know how much games it is, like almost a quarter of the way through. His play and accomplishments so far are definitely on another level. His cards are very pricey, and his Future Watch Auto is right around $500 right now. His rookie cards will definitely keep skyrocketing like this if he keeps playing the way he does, and will definitely reach right near where McDavid's cards are. Next up, I got another very underrated defenseman 
If you guys can't tell, I like defensemen a lot more than forwards. They are also a little bit easier to predict the future of. So coming in at fourth is Ethan Bear. Edmonton has been in need of defensive depth ever since they drafted McDavid, and they might finally have it this year. Uh, probably not, though. Bear's future watch auto is $60, but his play is very impressive and key for the Oilers. He's going to keep getting better, and his card will definitely go up along with that. Ironically, in third is Pierre-Luc Dubois. Just traded, I think Pierre-Luc Dubois will thrive in Winnipeg. If you haven't seen the breakdown of his trade, check out my most recent video. Even on Columbus, I would have still had him taking the third spot. His play in the playoffs last year was all I needed to see. This kid's a stud, and his card's a great investment. His future watch auto isn't on eBay anymore, but before that trade, it was around $115. That's exactly why right now, if you can find his cards, they're a great investment. They're going to keep going up in price because he's a game-changing player, and he will be for his entire career. Next up, I got another biased pick, taking the second spot. Noah Dobson might be the best investment right now. Now, obviously, the Islanders aren't doing too well, but if they start clicking together this year, they're going to be a team to watch out for. I think they might fire it up at the end of the season, and they'll be a threat in the playoffs for sure if they can start clicking. So, Dobson's definitely going to be helping them out, and he played pretty solid the few games in the playoffs last year. And I really don't think people realize how good he is and how good he will be in the future. His future watch auto is only around $30 right now. And once the Islanders get rolling this year, everyone will understand how good of a talent he really is. In my opinion, one of the best cards to invest in right now is Casey Middlestat. I don't think we've seen anything from this kid yet and his potential is still through the roof with his skill level. Now also playing on Buffalo doesn't really help too. With the addition of Taylor Hall, I think we'll see some things from Millistad in the near future that's going to shock everyone. He may not be the best player to ever play at the end of the day, but his potential is still through the roof and untapped, and people will see his value very soon. Uh, his hands are insane, I think he's going to be a pretty decent goal scorer and just get a ton of assists in the league. His future watch auto is only $30 right now, and it's a perfect time to pick it up, because at the end of the year, it's definitely going to be too late. Middlestat's skill is one of a kind and will definitely be showcased soon. Anyways, that'll do it for my list of hockey cards to invest in for this season. Uh, I probably missed a ton of players, so uh, let me know which ones I missed and should be on the list, or at least notable players. Um, again, it's not the best top 10, but it's something I, I wanted to put something together for you guys, so... Go check out my Instagram for the most recent updates and hockey card information, I guess. Uh, post a bunch of hockey card stuff on there and sell a bunch. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. It's going to be TJT Cards. If you guys enjoyed and want more videos like this, please smash the like button and hit subscribe. It would mean a ton. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.